Today my kid kicks us in the balls. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. A quick reminder that we get weird every single day over on Instagram and Instagram stories, so mm. follow us over there at Rhett and Link. Now, we have done a lot of things on this show involving testicles. Mostly it's us eating them. Yeah. So today we're gonna do something a little different with the old crotch nugs. Oh, we're gonna protect them. Uh, right, and you might be thinking, you guys have already had vasectomies, your gonads are practically worthless. Uh, and you're right, uh, but they carry a lot of sentimental value for us, okay? Yeah. It also means our crotches are the perfect crash test dummies. It's time for Buy It, Break It, Rate It, Jockstrap Edition. We have concocted <clears throat> a series of unique tests to determine mm. which jockstrap cup combo is the best. And in each round, we're gonna eliminate one until only the best remains. The jock straps that we've chosen are the Shock Doctor Core Jock Strap Supporter with BioFlex Protective Sports Cup for $14.99. The Diamond MMA Athletic Cup Groin Protector and Four Strap No Shift Jock Strap for $29.95. The Low Blow Tie Cup 2.0 Professional MMA Cup Groin Guard for $44.99. The McDavid Athletic Supporter Jock Strap with Protective Cup for $14. And the Mueller Adult Athletic Supporter with Flex Shield for $9.99. Why do cups have to have so many names? They're compensating for something. <laughs> Here they are. To the junk smashing zone. <laughs> when I go bowling, I like to straddle the ball dispensing machine and wait for my ball to pop out. It is a great way to assert dominance over the lanes, but you better be cupped up. Right, so we have invited five semi-naked volunteers who are each sporting their own jock strap. Thank you guys. And inside of all these jock straps are two Tomatoes for proportional accuracy. <laughs> also color accuracy. I right. Think. We have rigged up five pendulums with a bowling ball attached to the end. It's gonna swing and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is much harsher than a dispenser at a bowling alley, but life is harsh and this is important. I'm gonna release the balls and see if we get a strike. All right, Link. Okay. Three, two, one, release! Okay, wow. It's a rough day. I'm gonna stay back here. Hello. Oh, there's these guys were sp split in two. <laughs> that guy's still standing. Be modest, shock doctor. Okay, so I don't is... think he is the shock doctor. I think he just wears one. Now, now the first thing I'm noticing He's the only is, one that's still standing. Is that there's some juice coming down the leg. Now, you definitely don't, that's a bad sign. After you get hit in the nuts, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. But he is still standing. Let's see what's, yeah, in, do the honors, let's see what's inside the shock doctor's package. Okay. Oh. It's like Christmas. Oh, well, look at that. I mean, it's two pretty intact. Pretty and intact. Just, I mean, we've got, oh gosh. They're both is, cracked. This is a little painful to, Consider. Okay. So, all right, just, just sit them on there. Slightly cracked. Move Let's that move, out of the way. Move it out of the way here. Gonna bring in the Mueller. Okay. Mueller's looking pretty good. I don't see any any runnage. Oh, oh no. We've we've got no. This is more than a little. Look. Oh gosh. That's not gonna work anymore. Uh, Whatever is inside of a testicle that makes it go, it's oh. gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is, but okay. uh, this one's intact, so okay. one right. for two on, on that one. All right, now the low blow. Okay, we, whoa, there's, oh, they're still in there. No, oh, ooh, this juice is, on the right. Oh, this is, this might be our best yet. Okay, we're only looking for the worst though. Right, the low blow. So blows. that's pretty good. Great. The McDavid. Okay. There's only one ball. Oh goodness. So here's the other one. It fell out, but it's completely intact. I don't, yeah, but, but it's detached. <laughs> good point. I mean, if yeah. it's, I don't right. care how well it works, if it's not attached to you, it's no good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one over here, because the McDavid. McDavid is in last place right now, because it couldn't even hold the balls in. Ugh. Now, I already got a piece of I already got a piece of tomato just in my hand from touching it. Oh wow. Oh, oh. That ooh. is smushed. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> Both of these are 
So would you rather have two smushed ones or lose one? I always was told when I was a kid that NFL kickers had one of their testicles removed for flexibility. Right, and this is a good way to do it. That's why I think we eliminate this one because there's a reason you have two testicles. It's called redundancy. Okay, I can't argue with that. I mean, I could, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to eliminate the diamond. Now, a good jock strap isn't just about protecting your twinkle berries. You want to be able to move around in that thing and feel good about it, which is why we created the perfect flexibility test. A ball firing jock strap slingshot. Yes. And of course, the balls that we're going to be firing are coated in blue paint uh, because this might be frustrating to watch. I get it. Uh, now, to keep consistent, I'm going to be firing each one of these, and whichever one causes the least splatter, meaning the jock strap that generates the least stretch power, will be the worst performing jock strap and will be eliminated. You know, science. Let's do this, Link. Okay, I'm gonna place. Gingerly place the blue ball. Okay, and here we go. Oh, kind of low. Not a lot of splatter with that one. Whoops. It, we made contact though, that's all that's important. All right, now moving on to the Mueller. Okay, Mueller, show us what you got. There it goes. Okay. All right, fresh ball. Fresh jock strap. All right, what is that, shock doctor? The shock doctor, back for another round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think that's maximum splatter oh, so yeah, far. Oh yeah, that one looks good. And finally, uh, the low blow. Should we tell the people at low blow that you wouldn't think that you pronounce that as low blow? Okay, here we go. This one's a little tricky. Look at that thing, look how far it comes back. Whoa. Oh, 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 you hit the wrong one. And I got some in my eye. Okay, so it's down to the McDavid and the Mueller, but the, the this one's, this the Mueller's a little tighter. Yeah, there's, a, there's actually a lot of splatter here. You can't really, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it goes out pretty far, and this is pretty isolated. So I think we're going to have to say that the Mueller is being eliminated. Jock straps protect baseball players from baseballs, hockey players from hockey pucks, and magicians from angry rabbits. And our three remaining jock straps have been filled with hot dogs covered in ketchup and mustard and some relish. Yeah, because sometimes it's not just about protecting the berries, you gotta protect the twig as well. And by the twig, you mean a hot dog. And by the hot dog, I mean wiener. Yes, and we're gonna fire batting cage baseballs at them because we don't have any pucks or rabbits. Whichever hot dog is the most damaged, that jock strap will be eliminated. Let's do this. All right, we're all fired up. I'm going for the hockey player first. Oh, yeah! I think it got the right testicle. <laughs> all right. All right, going for the baseball player. Oh, yeah! And the magician. Yeah! Oh, yeah! He's going down! Okay. All right. Okay, we lost our magician. Let's pick him back up. All right, bring him over. And now let's check his crotch. Okay. Oh, gosh. There's a... Oh, it's just... It's, it's, it's intact. How do you get that dog out? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'd feel safe. Yeah, very nestled in. Mine looked like that after that kind there. of event. All right, with the baseball player. Oh, that's real flat. Real flat, and it's still intact. Yeah. We don't have any, we don't have any severage. And then the shock doctor. The shock doctor, well, hold the top. And I'll oh, get the bottom. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that Complete peak. bun separation. That thing is peeking out. Oh, man, we've got complete bun separation. We've got a little bit of wiener scrut. Scr <laughs> wiener what? Wiener crush. <laughs> I've just, ne just never said those words together. A yeah, okay. little bit of wiener crushage. All right, um, so the shock top versus. Th no, there's no question. It's not called a shock top, that's a beer. <laughs> it's the shock doctor, and as much as I would like to keep saying shock doctor, I'm afraid this one is going home. 
So our mannequin volunteers walked off. I don't know why or how, actually. Uh, so it's up to our crotches to find a winner. And our two remaining jock strap cup combos are Low Blow and McDavid. And this final round is perhaps the most important test of them all, and that's why we've invited Shepard to be here. Shepard, tell the people at home what you're about to do. I'm gonna kick you in the balls. <laughs> now, I asked Lando to help us out and kick me in the balls, and he said no, actually. Uh, he also asked me to reevaluate my career choices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that later, but right now, Shep, uh, will you also please kick me in the balls? I will be happy. He will be happy. He will be happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Chef's going to kick each one of us in the balls. We're going to rate the pain on a scale of 1 to 10. And, of course, whichever one protects the best is our overall best cup. We are both currently wearing the low blow, okay? And then we're both going to switch to the McDavid. So we're both going to get kicked twice. I don't know why we designed it that way. Okay, Chef, get uh, wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, just, oh, gosh. Well, first of all, you got to move your hands, right? I, I am. I'm just making sure <laughs> that, that this is. Uh, I feel so vulnerable, son. Now, just give me like a three, two, one, and then do it, and just you know, go easy on your dad. <laughs> are you looking at his uh, balls? Or are you looking at his face? <laughs> Look at what you're aiming at. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You jumped before he hit it. Good, man. How'd that feel? Uh, it was it was a lot scarier than it was painful. The problem with me is I'm shorter than you. Great. All right, who's your favorite uncle? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> okay, Link, assume the position. Three, two, one. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> All right. I felt pretty well protected, so I'm going to give that a two out of 10. Well, it's, it's gonna be relative to the other experience, but I'm giving mine a five. Okay. That was, that was stout. Well done, son. All right, let's put on the other jock strap. Okay, now we're strapped in with the McDavid's. All right, Shep, you ready to do this again? Mm-hmm. Are you enjoying this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, give me the count and let me have it. Three, two, one. <laughs> that looked like a good one! Uh, okay, a little... <laughs> that might be a four. That's definitely twice oh, as oh. bad as it was the first time. Oh, but still not breaking five? Uh, no, because you've ever been kicked in the nuts with no, no cup. That's a ten. Oh, I'm, that's sa a ten? I'm saving that. All right, Chip. I'm just going to ask that you <laughs> aim true, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Two. One. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good one, son. That was a good one. Wow. That was a good one. That was real. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. You want to do it again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta take a knee. <laughs> he, you see how he's talking higher like that? You did. That's great. You did great. Okay, Link. Uh, what's your score? I mean, I'm having a, I'm having a eight experience. <laughs> like, I think the top of the cup was just jammed into my. Pubis. Oh, is the pubis a thing? Sure. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the scores are in, and that means that the low blow is the best <laughs> cup on the market, according to Good Mythical Morning Testing. You did great, Shep. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you say you know what time it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Bailey. And we're at Brian Denny Stadium. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. T tide Pods. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us eat some smash nuts and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. Move at the speed of conversation with us. Subscribe to Ear Biscuits wherever you listen to podcasts.